everyone. So I'm really sorry it's been about two weeks since my last um, gardening vlog. Wow, the sun just hit me. And uh, to be honest, I didn't think there was a great deal to report back other than some cabbages being slightly bigger and some tomato plants have started to flower a little. So I will update you with those in a minute. But I'm really excited because I get to harvest my potatoes. And hopefully I can ch um, cut up two... Um, well, rip out two cabbages and we can have a Sunday roast with two types of veg on Sunday. So that is tomorrow, so I'm really excited. So I've got my wheelbarrow out and I'm about to harvest some potatoes and hopefully we've got some beauties. But don't forget these potatoes were from a supermarket and they just turned to seed in the kitchen. But some of them don't look the best anymore, so they really need to come up. My first new potato, that looks pretty nice. So that's my little pal so far. So this is the second time I've ever grown potatoes and this is what I've got. I don't think that's gonna last five minutes in our house. So I'm a little bit disappointed with the amount I've got for the effort I put in, but I will certainly enjoy them. And the other bonus that I learned from Carol Klein of Gardener's World is if you've got really thick soil, which ours is a clay soil, it's great to start off with potatoes because it really just loosens up the soil. So I'm going to put butternut squashes there now. And these are the excess butternut squashes I've got to plant. And this poor little cauliflower that I planted ages ago hasn't had much of a look in because the potato plants were just hiding it. So I'm going to put that one in this plant pot when it's empty. All done. So hopefully these cauliflowers can get more established here and then I can separate them again, but it may be too late in the season now. On the other hand, where these cauliflowers were actually hidden, I do have two broccoli plants now growing. That one's a little bit, this one's a little bit behind, but I'm, I like, I'm, I'm impressed. And I think this spot will be the next place to harvest because this is courgette and there's absolutely loads hidden inside. See, it's been absolutely chucking it down this week, which has been brilliant because I have seen a friend's courgettes curl up because I've not had enough water. Then sadly, if you remember me saying that I had a cucumber and I was going to look after it, well, I can't have looked after it, it's died. It's the only cucumber plant out of the three that has died. I don't know what's happened. This needs to come off now because it's starting to turn soft at the end. But look at the leaves and I've been watering it just as much as the others. And as for my tomato plants, if you remember last time I actually moved them, well most of them, upstairs into the loft conversion which was a sun trap and we left the windows open and they did really well. But then we needed to decorate that room anyway, so we brought them downstairs and we brought them into the conservatory. These are the tomato plants. They've actually been hiding behind a blanket though on the windowsill because it gets too hot in here and they've been really thriving. They're the tallest tomato plants I've got compared to any of the others. And most of them are flowering, so I'm so pleased. But the other problem was it got so hot upstairs, even though the windows are open, it starts to get moss, so I really need to try and remove this. So if anybody knows how to get rid of this, sort it out, then please let me know below. And the aubergines are the best plants so far in here as well, so I'm pleased about that. And then I still have quite a lot of plants out here. Um, the tomato plants are doing very well, but not as good as the other ones and they're going outwards rather than upwards and my aubergines they just don't look anything in comparison to the ones in the conservatory. Although most of the cabbages aren't ready yet I have been using the outer leaves for the last three weeks for stir fries so I've been getting plenty of use of them and I really don't need to buy a cabbage for a very long time which is great. Look at the size of that cabbage next to my hand and there's another but I definitely have to say these are probably packed in a bit too tight because I've only got two that are really big and some of them are just in the middle just very small and there's one hiding under here that really hasn't done a great deal or is it there it's there so once these are out I'm excited about these getting bigger there's definitely quite a few that are ready and my smaller cabbages here there's definitely some that are forming as well so I've got absolutely loads of stir fry um, cabbage leaves on the outers um, that I can at least use while these are growing so that's great. 
And I really do need to get cracking with um, doing some weeding because I haven't done it for two weeks. And these cabbages, these smaller cabbages at the end, they look quite um, crowded. So thank you all so much for watching. And if you want to see more like this, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next gardening update. And hopefully I'll get to harvest some courgettes for some more recipes. Thanks, bye.